Science. When it comes to renewable energy, Denmark is aiming high. By 2020, the country hopes 50% of its energy will come from wind power. And by 2050, transport and electricity should be powered by green energy. The Green Lighthouse is the first public carbon dioxide neutral building in Denmark. Electricity, heating and lights produced using green sources. It was built in an energy efficient way and within 30 years it will have paid back the CO2 emitted during its construction. In the summer we produce a lot of energy where we get the free energy from the sun. Then we are able to save it for the winter where we need extra energy for heating the house. So it is over the year as a sort of a brutal calculation that the house is uh, considered to be carbon neutral. 750 low-energy homes are being built here and half of them are finished and inhabited. Rainwater is used for washing and flushing the toilet. It means a lot for us as pensioners now. Before, oil and electricity were very expensive. Here we don't have to pay for heating oil, just electricity. We think it's great we can reuse the rainwater we collect in our garden. We use it for the toilet and for washing clothes. When we use it to wash clothes, we don't have to use fabric conditioner because the water is softer. So there are only positive things about living here. There's a small well outside we have to look after and empty from time to time. But my husband handles that. This is one of the biggest wholesale markets in Copenhagen, with produce coming from around the world, but not for this company. We wanted to uh, work with the environmental uh, focus and at uh, the same time to inspire people to eat more green, to eat more healthy and to raise their life quality through their kitchen. As Denmark approaches the end of its EU presidency, it's looking to the future and sustainable energy seen as one of the best possible investments.